Hello, in this video, we will see how we can download and install Image Burn on our Windows computer. Image Burn, we can use it to make an ISO file very easily. So let's see how we can download and install it. At first, we need to go Google and then we have to type Image Burn and then we'll find the official Image Burn website. We just need to click here and once we are here, then we have to click the download button here. This is a download link. I'm going to click here and here you will find different language or something like that. But I'm not going to go there. I will use the English language. And here there are a couple of versions are there. I mean, these are all are same version, but the link is the mirror link. I'm going to download from software, but it's fine. You can use the other link to start download. I'm going to click here and the software website will be opened shortly. From here, we'll see the download now button. This is a very big button. We just need to click here and then it will bring us this type of window. From here, we need to choose the first option, which is download soft PDF mirror. Just click here and start waiting for a few seconds. Within a few seconds, a new window will be appeared where it will ask us to save the download file. So it already opened like this. Now we can choose the download location. I'm going to download in downloads folder and I'm going to press the save button to start download and it's a very small software it is like less than 4 megabyte it's i see it's 3 megabyte and it will be downloaded shortly and now we can close this window because we don't need it anymore now it's time to open the installer to install it so i'm going to access the downloads folder so here it is the downloads folder and here we are seeing that that is the installer which we downloaded we just need to double click on top of it and very shortly it will ask this type of thing we need to click yes and then it will bring us the installer window i'm going to minimize this thing because we don't need it anymore and then from here we have to press next button and then we need to accept the terms of the license agreement and then again we need to press the next button once we press the next button it will give us this option from here we can choose whatever the options we need require I'm going to choose the default option and then I'm going to press the next button again and here it is showing the destination folder uh, that means where the software will be installed and it is very small size you are seeing right it's less than 3 megabyte and then I'm going to press the next button to start the installation we have to press another on time the next button and very shortly you will see this progress bus will be there and you will get this type of confirmation message that windows uh would you like to uh, like image burn to pre uh, periodically check if a newer version if is available i'm going to choose no and let's minimize this explorer and here it is showing that uh, the installation has been completed successfully image burn has been installed on your computer click the finish to close the wizard so i'm going to press the finish button and now if we type image burn we'll see I am image bound and we'll see this application is here and if you click here it can be opened from here so I'm going to press it and it will take some few seconds and here you are seeing that the image one software is there so that's it guys in this way we can easily download and download the installer and after downloading the installer uh, we can install it very easily thank you guys for watching the video